everyone and welcome to the vlog. So today we've got a few jobs that we're going to do on the car and um, I'm also going to show you what we're going to fit based on some of your opinions over the coming few weeks. So first of all, the car. Great little car, it's clean now. Today we're going to clean the interior and I'm going to do a, a little bit of servicing. So I'm going to change the other three plugs. I changed one to fix the coil pack issue. but. I'm going to change the other three because I found out some um, information about the car um, through some detective work. So it would seem that the car has not been serviced for well over a year and neither has it been used for over a year as well. So uh, I checked the um, MOT site to see when the car, um, well, when the MOT expires and the last MOT expired back in um well you'll see it on the screen now so it was back in in um 2017 so it's over a year ago and when you look at the brakes the front brakes are quite rusty and also when i drove the car out last week the back um the handbrake locked on which tells me the car's been sitting for a while so it, it's gonna need a good little service so first thing first thing that i'm going to do is change the plugs We'll do an oil change as well. Um, but I can't really do much at the moment until I get the log book and then I get it booked in for an MLT because I can't tax it until I get the log book and I can't get the log book until DVLC, um, well, it takes about four weeks because they will check to see if the car's been stolen, which it hasn't. The finance company will confirm that they've released the car and that whole process takes about four weeks. So. And the moment we're limited in how much road action we can do in a car. In fact, we can't do any. So everything's going to be done in my um, courtyard. So anyway, today we're going to clean the, inter the interior because it's quite dirty. We're going to change the plugs. And um, I'm going to give the engine bay um, a little bit of a clean up. Like we did with the uh, Mark 1 TT. We're going to do the same with this one because it's really dusty and dirty. So let's get on and do that right now. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to change the, um, the other three plugs. So if you recall, we changed the plug here. This is a new coil pack. And then I need to change it from here, here, and here. These are the three remaining plugs. So let's go and do that right now. Plugs done. Let's see if the car starts okay. It should be fine. But let's just check and make sure. Perfect. Okay, now it's time to clean up this engine bay. So, I'm gonna get some detergent and then we're going to degrease it like we did a couple weeks back. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the cover on and we're also gonna do the bonnet. So we clean the bonnet first. That's gonna drip on the car. 
then we clean the other side of the um, well, the engine bay as well. Make that look clean. All right, let's go and do that right now. Okay, time for stage two. So in stage two, we use the old ultimate black with a brush and we clean down all the plastics. Well, they're clean now, so we're gonna coat them with this coating to give them that gloss black look. Actually, there is one thing that I need to check before I start working on the inside. Got to make sure the car's running. Okay, so let's give it another start. is absolutely fine excellent okay so first things first this car needs a good old hoovering let's get on with that okay so that's that cleaned out what I'm gonna do now is just clean up all the plastics which are really dirty you can see some mud stains around here and then if I show you the center dash you can also see now it's dirty the glove box has been torn off so I need to replace that but I'm fine with that and the door cards well they just need to get all clean so I'll do that and then we'll get you in to have a, a look a closer inspection once we're done so let's crack on with that now Okay, phase two, we're cleaning the leather seats and we're using Auto Glim's leather seal, um, leather cleaner. So what I've done, I've just agitated the seat with a brush, gonna leave it for t two minutes, then we're gonna clean it up and um, hopefully it should look better than, than it was. Okay, the seats look better. Um, yeah, they certainly look better. But now we're going to concentrate on the trim again. So I'm going to use some T1 tie-in trim, 
and then we're going to use it on the door card here as well so let's see how that comes out okay this is the door card after you can't really tell the difference maybe you can but I can't see it through the screen here but trust me it looks like brand new it's a big difference so if you're looking for that new look T1 that's your boy T1 from G Technique really good stuff treats tires as well but there's even some better stuff for the tires but um, for your trim this is really good stuff So that's it the car is now clean right so next week gonna order the bumper so we're going for the RS T or TTRS front end um, which is on screen right now so that's the bumper we're gonna order and hopefully it'll be here sometime this week um, so I can show it being installed next week um we're also going to get the spoiler actually what do you think should i keep the natural spoiler or should we go for the ttrs spoiler as well let me know what you think uh, this is what it looks like just to remind you so should we go with the um keep the natural or go with the ttrs one you let me know in your comments below um wheels so I'm looking at the rotor, you know the standard rotor, like these ones here. So those are the wheels that I'm gonna be, I'm thinking of. Or, what do you think? Leave some comments below if you think I should go the rotor. I'm looking at 19 inch wheels, low profile tires of course. It's got 17 at the moment and they look big and chunky. Plus a couple of tires have um, slightly damaged so. I don't think they'll get for the MLT. They may do, they may not though. So if I um, get those rotors, I think that'll be better. Like I said, I can't drive the car at the moment because it's got no MLT, no tax, and I've got no log book. So I am waiting for the log book. I can, I'm actually going to book the MLT probably next week because I can still MLT even though I haven't got a log book. But what I can't do is tax it until I've got the MLT and the log book. So yeah. Hopefully DVLA will give me a break and send me the V5 early. But anyway, um, so that's it for this week. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like the, what we're doing here, if you like what I'm doing here. If you don't, leave a comment below and give me some suggestions as what I need to do. So until next week, and hopefully we'll get some stuff delivered. I will, um, I look forward to seeing you next Monday and um, I'll post a couple of pictures of Instagram as the week goes by. So again, don't forget to subscribe if you like this channel and you can see more of what we're doing. So see you next week. Always.